amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious broccoli rice casserole. This broccoli rice casserole right here is pretty much bomb. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my broccoli rice casserole before. Gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is broccoli florets. Okay, now listen here. I have broccoli, broccoli florets. Get you some fresh broccoli if you have it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't suggest going out and getting a um, frozen broccoli, but if you wanted to, you can. Okay, so we have some fresh broccoli here that's been chopped down into florets. Okay, you're going to need some butter and we're going to use around about a half a stick of butter. You will also need some cream of chicken soup. Now, if you don't have cream of chicken soup, you can always use cream of mushroom. Heck, you could use a cream of celery and it would be delicious. So we have two cans and we'll just kind of see whether we're going to use two or three cans. We'll just see as we go. And then also you're going to need some rice. So I'm going to use two one pound bags of rice here and then you might not be able to see but I do have some cheese I have some sharp cheddar shredded cheese and then I have some Colby Jack you will need some milk and a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste delicious here's what you'll need we're going to be using some chicken powder chicken powder is going to send this baby over the top you will need some red pepper flakes those of you that like a little bit of heat in the back of the palette get you some but it's definitely optional we're going to use some onion powder today a really interesting ingredient for this recipe some black pepper and salt make sure your hands are impeccably clean let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe i hope that you all are having an amazing day today let me know in the comment section below have you ever tasted a broccoli rice casserole if you never tasted it listen here you're in for a treat because it's delicious and when you're making a broccoli rice casserole possibilities are endless you could put chicken in it a lot of people like to put chicken in it but guess what if you don't put meat in it it's still delicious and you could possibly if you have some leftover ham from you know thanksgiving or some leftover turkey go ahead and grab that and put it in here that will make it delicious as well now those of you that are new to my channel welcome and then also um if you don't know, for the whole month of December, every video that I'm going to be doing for December is going to give you, like, it's going to be Christmas ideas. Uh, like a Christmas recipe that you could put on your loved one's dinner table and you're going to really wow them. This is one of those recipes. So now what I want to do, even though it's broken, the broccoli is broken down, I need to break it down a little bit more. So we're going to, so you see how there's some big pieces. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces just like so in this manner. Now, if you wanted to, you can get the broccoli like a parboil, you know, break it down and then boil it in some salted water for about, let's just say, seven to eight minutes. And that will make your broccoli nice and tender. Okay, now I've always done that, but sometimes you don't have to, you know. This is going to bake in the oven, so it's going to get done. All right, and then it's really up to you guys exactly how much you want to put into your broccoli rice casserole and listen here if you also if you have some cauliflower cauliflower is delicious in this here recipe now what we're going to do we're going to make a cream base and the cream base well we're not going to make it we already have it made and here's where the cream base comes from your cream of chicken or your cream of mushroom soup so now if you if you're that person you don't want to use a cream soup you can always make a roux out of equal parts flour and equal parts butter or oil or some type of fat and then put you a little bit of milk in there and shred you some cheese and make a cheese sauce to pour in here although we are going to use cheese i don't feel like we need to make a cheese sauce because we're already going to have a creamy component which is this and the cheese melts in just perfectly 
with this cream soup. So I'm gonna continue, I'm so excited for this recipe. I'm gonna to continue to chop this broccoli down just like so, and then we need to make our way to the stove behind us where I have some water boiling for our rice when I come back. So we're over at the larger stove and I have some water here that we're gonna put our bags of rice in. I always like to use the boil in a bag rice. The boil in a bag rice is so easy to use. What I like to do is I like to salt my water. Anytime I'm making rice, potatoes, or noodles, you salt it so it has flavor, you know? And then all you have to do is boil your rice for 11 minutes and it comes out perfect every time. Okay, so now that we have our rice going, it'll be done in 11 minutes. We have all of our beautiful broccoli, nice and chopped up. The next thing that I wanna do is show you how to make this really quick and simple, creamy, yet so tasty sauce. Okay, and this keeps your casserole so moist. Oh my goodness, it's so creamy, and like I said, it is flavorful. Okay, so we're gonna get I said, yeah, I, we're going to go ahead and use all three cans of our cream of chicken. Like I said, feel free to use a cream of mushroom as well, if you want it to, you know. So I'm going to take all of the contents out of our cream of chicken cans, and I'll be right back. So we're going to go ahead and take that half a stick of butter, and I'm just going to, you know, kind of slice it just like so and get it right in on top of our broccoli. It doesn't matter when you put the butter in, really it doesn't, because it's gonna combine with the whole dish, you know, as everything cooks down, okay? So now that we have our butter in, like I said, just kind of throw it in there. Next thing that I wanna do is something really interesting. I want to season up our cream, okay? Our cream of chicken. Red pepper flakes, if you like that heat, get you some in there. But if you have kids or someone that doesn't want the heat, don't worry about that. You can always use a um, low sodium cream of chicken if you like. This is the chicken powder that we're using for extra flavor there. And then we're gonna put some onion powder. And then we're gonna use some black pepper. And we're gonna stir this vigorously, okay? So we can really get those spices well incorporated, just like so. So I tasted it and I felt like I needed a little bit more cream of chicken, so we, or not cream of chicken, our chicken powder, so I put some in there. Now we're gonna get all crazy with the cheese. We wanna load this baby up with cheese. That's the sharp cheddar. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Colby Jack, one of, two of my favorite cheeses that we love here at the Young's House. Now listen here, if you don't wanna use these cheeses, by all means you can use whatever type of cheese that you love. You know, that way you can enjoy the recipe as well. Okay, so we're gonna incorporate this just like so, and then we're gonna pour some milk in to kind of loosen up the sauce just like so. So now let's just go ahead and put some milk in. I'm putting a 2% milk in, and like I said, for the most part, we're putting the milk in to kind of loosen the sauce up a little bit so that it's not so thick. And then when I come back, I wanna talk about our rice and what you should do when cooking your rice for this dish. So now I want you all to see the consistency of our cream sauce. It's not heavy, you know, like plaster, but it's nice and loose and it's gonna bake up perfectly. Oh yeah, it smells good. So now I wanna talk about two things really quickly. What I wanna talk about is whether you wanna put meat into your casserole, you always, always, I have to say this because some people don't know, you wanna make sure that your meat is cooked before it goes into the casserole. You wouldn't wanna put like a raw chicken into your casserole. You, I'm, I, you know, you could, but you would really have to cook it really, really long in order for your meat to get cooked, right? And then what that would do is it would overcook your rice and then it would overcook your vegetables, so don't do it. I highly suggest that you don't do it that way. Make sure that your meat is cooked. And like I said, you could use a ham. You know, have fun with it. Now, as far as my rice, my rice is done and I've drained it. But now, 
the question is, did I cook it for 11 minutes? I didn't cook it for 11 minutes. And the reason why I didn't cook it for 11 minutes is because I don't want, this rice is gonna be cooked two times. And I don't want for the rice to overcook in the oven. So instead of cooking it for 11 minutes, we cooked it for six minutes. That way it's halfway cooked and then it'll finish cooking in the oven and it won't be overcooked when we take it out. Okay, pretty simple, right? That's because everything Gina Young shares with you all, it's gonna be simple and doggone it, it's gonna taste good. Okay, everyone, so we've drained our rice and now we're gonna put it right on top of that butter and also our broccoli. Like I said, you can pre-cook your broccoli if you wanted to, but you don't have to because the time that we're gonna cook this, the broccoli is gonna to cook to perfection. And you know, it's not gonna be mushy. It's gonna be perfect, okay? So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and mix in the rice, the butter, and the broccoli just like so. Oh, it, it's beautiful already, right? Okay, so now what I did was I put a little bit more seasoning on there because I don't know about you all, but we need seasoning here at the Young's house. Now let's go ahead and take this really creamy, flavorful cheese chicken sauce i would like to call it <laughs> and put it right on top oh yes put it on top of the broccoli and the rice and use all of it don't leave anything in that pan this recipe is one of the most simple recipes ever but yet it is packed with so much flavor. When I make this for my family, they are just like too excited. Like, look at it. You, I mean, oh, look at it. I can't wait. I cannot wait. You could use a wild rice if you wanted to. You could also use a rice a -roni. I've made it with rice a -roni and it turns out delicious. I just use the chicken rice a -roni, you know. All right, so we're gonna get all this well incorporated just like so. And right here, I have some aluminum foil. I'm gonna cover this up nice and tight. I have my oven preheated to 355 degrees and we're gonna cook this until our broccoli is done. And this mixture here is hot and bubbly. Oh my goodness. And then the last, let's just say the last 10 minutes, we'll turn, my mouth is salivating. <laughs> Like the last 10 minutes, we'll turn around and we'll take the foil off so that the top can get kind of crispy, you know? And even if you wanted to, you can crumble a little bit of breadcrumbs on the top and get them nice and toasty. That's if you want to. But you know what? I don't do that because it always turns out good without the breadcrumbs. Mm, okay, I'll be back. When I come back, this will be coming out of the oven. I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. Covering our casserole into the oven, 355 degrees. Okay, everyone. So now here's what I like to do so that I can stay stress-free in the kitchen. When my food goes in the oven or when the food goes on the stove and we kind of have like some downtime, what I like to do is get my kitchen cleaned up. Wipe the counters down, clean your sink out, you know, uh, get some dishes done, dry them off, put them away. And when you're sitting around a nice clean kitchen, you'll be less stress-free. But if you decide to cook and you got dishes piling up and you got a dirty counter and all of that, you kind of can get easily stressed out. But if you clean up as you go, when you get that downtime, when food goes in the oven, you'll be less stress-free. I promise you. I, I promise. This is what I do. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Can we just start off by saying yummy? This cooked in the oven 355 degrees for one hour. The last 10 minutes we took the foil off and let it get a little bit of golden brown on the top. And we're just gonna have some roasted chicken on the side. We're gonna have some cornbread and we're gonna have that amazing bread pudding that we made last night for dessert today. So take a look at this. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me come a little closer so y'all can really see. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, 
I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite, and you'll get to see down into the inside. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. We thank you, Jesus, for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, I'm going right in. <laughs> I'm going right in from the middle. And I'm going to get up close so you all can see. Oh my goodness. This is what you want to make for your holiday. Oh, you will not be let down. Look at this beautiful plate. Gina Young style. Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh-huh. One more look down at the inside. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's go in for this. It's hot. It is so hot. I want to taste it. Like, I want to just dive in right now and taste a mouthful. But you see the steam. It is so hot. I would burn the daylights out of my mouth right now. But I want you all to try this for your holiday. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. I love you guys. Until the next video.